we can add tensors and we can multiply tensors. In this video, we will see how this is defined. Furthermore, you will see that these operations correspond to the usual matrix operations you know of linear algebra, if you write tensors in terms of their components. And that is nice because this implies that these calculations are the same as the ones familiar to you from linear algebra. So let's first look at the sum of two tensors, T and S. So let's give the sum a name, say W. So W equals T plus S. And how do we define this? We say, well, the W of sum A is defined as compute T of A and S of A and take the sum. So that is the well, kind of obvious definition. Because you know how to compute T of A, know how to compute S of A, you have factors so you can add them. That's the definition of your sum tensor. So what happens to the components? Well, we know, this is one of those formulas you learned by heart, that the Wij is given by Ei inner product with Wej. Now, how do we compute the W working on Ej? It was defined as compute the T of Ej and the S of Ej and add them up. So that's the definition. Then we have an inner product. An inner product is linear. So the inner product of Ei with the sum equals Ei times the inner product with the first one plus Ei inner product with the second one. That's what is happening over here. And then again, we have this formula, uh, the, the second consequence from an earlier web lecture you learned by heart. Here you have the T ij and here you have the sij so the components wij are just adding the components tij and sij so the standard matrix of w is just a sum of the standard matrices of t and s well, probably have guessed already so that's if you take the sum of two tensors what about the product so if we take the product of two tensors w equals t times s let us do it in this order. How is it defined? Well, the W working on sum A is T times S working on sum A. And how do we define this? Well, we say compute first S times A. You can do that because S is just a tensor. And then the result, uh, on the result, we compute T of the result. So we compute S times A first and then the T of S times A for all A. That is how it is defined. Then again, same question, what about the components? Well, for the Wij, same formula again, Ei inner product Ts uh, Ej, very useful formula, use it all the time. And by definition, so we need the Ts working on Ej, for that we use this formula, Ts working on some A equals the T of the S working on this A, so this yields the T working on the S of Ej. And now uh, uh, we know, this was the first consequence of a previous uh, 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 web lecture, which you also learned by heart, that the S working on Ej can also be written as Smj times Em. Now this Smj is just a number depending on m and j, but it's just a number. So you can take it in front. So what is left is smj uh, and then the inner product ei inner product tem. And again, for this inner product ei inner product tem, we know this second consequence uh, we saw before, that is just tim. So the standard matrix wij equals smj tim or uh, you should put them the other way around. Wij equals Tim times SM, Smj. And then you recognize that this is in fact a matrix product. The matrix of T times S, the matrix of W, is given by multiply matrix T times matrix S. Probably also as expected and similar to what you learned in linear algebra. So then a few concluding remarks. Uh, as you know from matrices, 
t times s is not the same as s times t, so that holds here as well. So a uh, tensor product is usually not commutative. Then if you have bigger products like v times t times s, how is that defined? Well, it works like computes t times s first. You have a new tensor, then v times t times s, or compute v times t first, and then compute v times t times s. So that's how you do bigger products. You just split them into smaller ones. And finally, a notation remark. So you can define now t squared and t cubed and so on, because we define t squared as t times t, and we can compute products, and we can uh, define t cubed as t times t times t, which is also fine. We can uh, compute larger products as well. So this is how powers of tensors are defined.